Hey everyone, my topic is pet ownership and the ethics of it. And so just start off with the question is, is it okay to support pet ownership? What would Singer, Taylor, and Sagoff say? And then my thesis is, I believe that it is morally permissible to own pets if you rescue them, but until overpopulation in pet animals is lessened drastically, it is not permissible to obtain pets from breeders. So just to start with a few definitions, we have morally per permissible, which is anything that is either moral or kind of like a neutral ground. It doesn't really sway things in a good or bad way. And then sentience is the ability to feel and then the ability to experience emotions. Um, equal moral consideration is a principle where one should think of all interests that are affected and weigh those interests equally. So uh, animals, interests wouldn't be less than a human's. And then an individualism, individualism is the focus on the individual. And then holism is viewing systems as wholes and not just collected parts. So to start off with the stakes is that pets are so commonplace nowadays, like even just, or not even just in like one culture, they're everywhere. It's so common for places to have pets that it's honestly kind of weird if you don't nowadays. So this argument and this like thought process, it really affects everyone. And then not only does it affect everyone, it's also started to affect the environment because of malpractices in breeding to where we're starting to get overpopulation and all of that, but I will go into that later. So to start off with Singer, um, he thought a lot more about like how the pros outweigh the cons and animals are sentient. So therefore they deserve equal consideration. Um, so I think he would say that pets are permissible as long as the animal is well taken care of because animals normally will have a better life in like, homes than they would in the wild. So I think that that would make it more permissible. And obviously like if the animal would have a better life in the wild, then I think he would be against it. But since normally they do, it's kind of outweighing what's best for humans and what's best for animals. And then next we have Taylor, which he believes a lot in the everything has a place and a function and humans are not superior. So I th think one way he would look at it is that it's not permissible to own a pet because we're taking away the like animal's base purpose. But the messiness with that is that like sometimes definitions of a purpose start to differ because a lot of people think that it's humans purposes to be like a, a, a steward to animals and to the environment. And our purpose is take, to take care of other things. So if we can't own a pet, why, or not why, but we're taking away our um, own purpose. And then next is Segoff which uh, he is really, really focused on land ethics, which is just the goal of preserving the biotic community. And I think he would be okay with owning pets as long as you fix them um, because overpopulation harms the environment. And as of right now, we're kind of treating pets as commodities that are easily traded and easily bought and easily disposable. And so I think he would be really against breeding, but if you rescued a pet or got them from a shelter, I think he would be okay with that. As long as you're making sure the pet doesn't ruin the environment. So my arguments to support my thesis are number one, because of domestication, many pets can't go back to the wild. Domestication isn't just the process of, oh, 
you are now with me. So therefore, you are domesticated. It's also like a biological thing in them to where they are physically different. I think if you take uh, like foxes, for example, uh, domestic, kind of domesticated foxes will have shorter ears and shorter tails because they aren't using them as much. And in part, that's how like we've bred them through the years with like other animals like dogs and cats. But because of that have having already happened, we can't change that. So they can't go back into the wild. And then my second one is that a majority of the time, humans give pets safer and better lives and which I can kind of already talked about with Singer of this is that like outweighing the pros and cons a lot of the time even though it's very beneficial for uh, humans to have pets pets still really really benefit from that relationship to the point where they like are extremely happy to be with the person and they are obviously they have better shelter, they have a better food source. So in those times, I do believe that it would be permissible for pets or to have pets. And then three is kind of going off of the pets thing and more into the breeding thing. Um, I don't think at this point that breeding is permissible because it's having such a negative impact on ecosystems and on the animals themselves. Because we have started to like overbreed and we kind of treat them as consumable that we're having so many shelters, we're having so many kill shelters because I think kill shelters are still legal in quite a few uh, places. And because we're breeding, it's only getting worse. We're ha we have too many dogs and not enough homes at this point, or too many animals and not enough homes. And it really, really, really is starting to affect the ecosystem. We're having places being overran with cats to the point where diseases are starting to spread to animals and new diseases are starting to spread to animals that even though they were vaccinated against uh, one strain, it's starting to affect them again because this is a new strain that we're not being able to take care of and we're not being able to help cure. And it's starting to affect pet animals themselves as well. So I think at this point, until we can get a handle on how much we've like created this problem and how much overpopulation there are in pets, I think that we shouldn't breed. And I think eventually like responsible breeding to where it's very much taking care of the pets and taking care of like, oh, this, these two parents have had this many litters. That means they are no more litters for them ever. They're just like a pet now. I think very, very responsible breeders in the future would be fine. But as we're standing right now, breeding is only harming our environment and harming the animals in general. So I do not think it's morally, morally permissible to breed at this point. So yeah, that was everything I had on my end.